Well, it's happening, folks. Of course, these protesters are not going to just stop with just protesting peacefully. They have to absolutely lose their minds and start their own surrection. God, this picture looks awfully familiar, doesn't it? But at the same time, our elites are having these moments. I've been thinking that we really yeah. all need a tremendous yeah. hug in yes. the world right now. Yeah. But in our country, yeah. we need you to be mamala of the country. <laughs> Exactly, because that's what everyone's actually concerned about, where McDonald's actually just missed their earnings. Oh, because the economy is doing so well that poor people aren't going out to eat anymore. It's almost like it's a sign that there are worse things to come. So these protesters decided they're going to not be protesters anymore and they're going to be insurrectionists and you knew it was going to happen i knew it was going to happen it was the left this is how they act it's like if things don't happen immediately oh my god i'm gonna tell my mom you're gonna wait wait till you see me go absolutely nuts because i don't know what to do with my life these kids were never taught what a protest is they're like they go from protest to insurrection <laughs> to all-out riot within seconds. Where, why don't you just be like a good conservative? Where, you know, we just talk about boycotting Bud Light. And then some of us go back to drinking it sometimes. But like sometimes, or you just don't buy it at all. No, we're going to go nuts. We're going to destroy our entire community. We're going to destroy our entire colleges. You guys could just be boycotting Zionist things, you know. Don't support Zionist propaganda or like, you know, do little dances in the street again. No, you guys have to be a little good little Marxist, good little commies. You're going to go around destroying absolutely everything and making your cause <clears throat> go up in flames because no one cares anymore. No one, you know, no one has your back, not even me in the slightest bit anymore. But I knew that was going to happen. Some of you are like, I can't believe you're defending these protests. And because it started out as a protest, it started out simple. And now it started out with a bunch of dumb kids doing dance moves and <laughs> putting fake uh, camps in the lawn where they weren't even sleeping. They were just putting them up just so you can visualize things. And now we have just absolute mayhem in the streets. But at the same time, remember, at the same time, McDonald's is missing estimates <laughs> and inflation and stagnation is here to stay. It's just, we are... We are gearing up for another summer of love. And I'm nervous about this, and I think you're nervous about this, but at least we have each other when it comes to this insanity. I mean, these kids uh, act like, like a 13-year-old kid when you're told them no. You know, you took my cell phone away, and now I'm going to lose my effing mind. I'm going to punch myself in the face, but I'm also going to destroy everything in my room and make you regret telling me no for the first time in my life. It's not funny. <sighs> I. How do you think this protest ends? I don't think this protest is going to end very peacefully. I think there's something catastrophic that will eventually happen that makes the country take a pause or, you know, it only ramps up even further. And the funniest thing always in my eyes is that, you know, the media and idiot politicians or idiot elite people like Drew, you know, people like a Drew Barrymore-esque like celebrity elites or Kamala Harris will talk about how the right is this violent group. The right is full of these angry white men but then the world looks at america and they see these kids acting this way and yes a lot of them are white a lot of them are white so maybe maybe it's not that the right is as a angry but the right knows is angry but they know how to control their emotions whereas the left doesn't know how to control their emotions they're completely emotionally dysregulated and then <clears throat> they have been told their whole life that whatever you feel is right and lean into that and believe whatever you're feeling. And if someone doesn't agree with how you're feeling or what you're thinking, you need to convince them otherwise. You need to convince them of your truth through any means necessary. And this is what you're seeing. I mean, this is the result of, of teachers, 
of you know boomers telling these kids like you know what be good little communist be good a revolutionary you know make sure that america hears your voice by any means necessary it's like don lemon all over again is uh are protests supposed to be peaceful yeah they are why don't you just go sit on the picket lines or hold hands and create a circle around the school i don't know you know, it's just when you, you start to disrupt people like me going to work where I'm like, I don't care about this whole Palestinian-Israel situation. I know that is, like, evil in some eye, people's eyes to say, but any everybody only has a certain capacity of empathy for other people in their life. If you are just freaking out about everything in the world all the time, you're going to lose your mind. So you have to pick and choose of things, what you're actually annoyed or angry about. That's what I try to do in this show anyways. I don't want to just be angry and annoyed at literally every single thing I could possibly put my finger on, that would be disingenuous because no one is actually that angry about everything. It comes off as fake. And speaking of fake, there's Kamala Harris and Drew Barrymore. So we have our elites trying to pretend like everything is great. The economy is great. Job market's great. Um, uh, things are better than ever. Then we have people like us that are saying, hey, the inflation is out of control. I'm struggling to live. I just saw a breakdown saying it, it's it's harder to buy a home. The economy is worse than it was during the Great Depression. I saw this whole video breakdown of it, and I thought, well, this is something I'm going to have to go into a little bit and, and double check. But if that is true, then what you're feeling makes sense. And at the same time, we have riots and chaos in our streets our elites are laughing because this is what they want they want us destroying each other while they continue to get rich and more rich and more rich and continue to stay in power what are your thoughts on this guys put it in the comments below i would love to know what is going to be the summer of love do you think our summer is going to be absolute chaos because I'm starting to think so. I was hoping these protests were going to chill out. But no, they didn't learn their lesson from BLM because they, you know, they all got paid out. You know, they're not, they didn't actually go to jail or anything. Now is the time that kids are going to start seeing the protests and seeing the violence. And then they're going to have that group think moment of, oh, I'm going to go ahead and get mine too. I'm going to go rob this store. And, and that's just how it starts, right? Because they're all like little animals. <laughs> these kids, man. <laughs> All right, have a great day. And remember that it's not you that is over-emotional and dysregulated and angry about everything. It's these kids. And they want you to believe you're the one that is losing your mind. And you need to be controlled when it's these little commie revolutionarists. Revolutionarists? <laughs> Revolutionaries that are the ones taking it to the next level. All right, guys. Enjoy your day.